D303 account. So in Google, go ahead and click on the sign in and enter your password. From there, you're going to go ahead and see that you have your grid. You might have some updates, but we're going to go ahead and use our grid because we're going to be using YouTube today. Click on the icon that says YouTube. From here, let's go ahead and check out our screen and what YouTube has to offer. First thing we have, a menu bar that's over here. If you click on the triple bar up by the YouTube icon, you will notice that it will hide it and bring it back for you. Uh, this is important to know because in order to see your channel, you can click right over here on my channel. And that will take you to things that you've worked on within YouTube. So if you wanted to share your channel with viewers, if you wanted to go into your videos, your playlists, or other channels that you subscribe to, that's why it's really important to know that feature. The next thing that I wanted to show you was my subscriptions. So if you find people out on the web that you want to subscribe to, this is going to be your location for all of those. So I've subscribed to quite a few different channels and resources for me to use for my teaching. Next thing, you have your history, where you can view all of the recent history. You can also select watch later. So if you put some videos in your watch later, you can add them here or you can add them when you're actually looking at them. The next thing you're going to see are your playlists. So anytime that you see a video, you click on a video like this. Down here underneath, you can say add to you can add to multiple playlists. So if you have multiple classes that you need to have watching it, but you don't want them to all have the same playlist, you can check in the boxes for each one and keep them separate anyway. The little icon over on the side is either a public playlist, or it's a unlisted, or it's a locked playlist for only you to see. Going back, you see your subscriptions are also here, so you can see that they're right here for you, seeing the new videos that they've put out. And then you can also browse channels from here and manage your subscriptions. So if you wanted to delete them or if you wanted to subscribe some more or send more updates your way based on how often you use those subscriptions, that's an option for you. The next thing I'm going to show you is back on your channel you go back to my channel, you're going to see a thing called Video Manager. What Video Manager lets you do, number one, it lets you see all the videos that you've uploaded. Number two, this is where you will create and edit videos. You can add music, you can do your video editing here. But this is an important tool to know that it's there. So then that way you can go back and you can do some editing if you wanted to put some videos together that you've combined or if you wanted to add words to your videos. This is a really useful feature for not only yourself but also for your students. So that is a quick tutorial. Uh, the next video is going to be about uploading.